errors. Hey, welcome back. Welcome to this session today. And for the first time, I would like to ask you to take some time before you watch this video, like this video, comment below what you've enjoyed about this series. I'm spending a lot of time creating the content and I would be so happy if YouTube would share the content a bit more due to the interactions on these videos. I would really appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching. Once again, let's get started. So today we're focusing on errors and in specific how to create custom errors. Because in the previous video we saw with revert and with require, we get to specify a kind of error message. But how do we create a custom error that we can use throughout our application multiple times? Well, it is quite simple. The first thing we need to do is define the error. So I'm going to do that by writing error here at the top, telling the compiler that I want to specify a specific error. My error message is actually going to be something that I created, payment not enough for pizza. This should be descriptive enough and in Pascal case preferably. Then what we're going to do is specify some parameters. Now I want to know what address kind of caused this error. So I'm just going to say this is the user's address and you can pass in multiple parameters by placing a comma. For me, I'm just going to focus on the address. Now that we have defined our custom error, where can we use it? Well, you can only use these custom errors here with the revert because it doesn't take in a condition. So instead of this message for the revert, what we could do is say that we instead want to use this payment not enough and we need to initialize it with a value. And the value that we need to pass in is the message.sender, which would give us the address that we have specified here in our custom error. And just to make it clear, this is only the specification of what this error needs, but the message.sender is the address of the user that called this function. All right. Now, firstly, why do we want to use this payments not enough for pizza instead of just keeping that string? Firstly, it's more gas efficient to use uh, the custom errors because you can use it multiple times as well. And most people prefer using revert over require. So how can we get the same results as what require is doing here, but instead we would like this to be at the top and maybe lessen the amount of code? Well, we don't need these brackets really that the if statement provides for us, but we need to change the condition a tiny bit. So the first change we need to make is kind of switch this if statement around. Currently, we need the value to be greater or equal to one. But in my case now, I'm going to say if the value is less than one ether, we are simply not going to make this pizza. So I'm going to take all this out and put it at the bottom over here. And let's just clean up the code. Then I'm going to take my revert statement and place it in the if code block. And then we can get rid of the else statement. Now, just thinking about how this works, it can be done better because obviously Someone can pay five ether for this pizza and we're not doing those checks. So we can maybe add another if check or we can add into our condition and make a different error for that just to keep the price exactly in a parameter range. However, for our use case, this example will work. Now, this is fine and you can deploy the code as is, but we can also omit these code blocks if the next line in the if statement is only one line. Then the compiler will know that after this, the code can continue. However, I want to leave these code blocks in just to make it explicit where the if statement stops. But just know that you can do that too. Now let's go ahead and test our contract. I'm going to deploy it and then we're going to use the place order old function because that's where we made the changes. I'm going to specify pizza selection, maybe two would be fine. And there I'm going to maybe not pass in any ether. I'll place the order and we can immediately see something went wrong. And now we get a way more explicit error. We even see that payment not enough for pizza and the parameter for the user was this address. All in all, for debugging purposes, 
custom errors are wonderful. Let's just make sure that we actually can place a pizza and give it a one value in the ether, place the order and it went through. We can check our order is there. And lastly, let's just make sure that we can change the delivered to true. Perfect. Everything is still working as it's supposed to. And that's how you can create custom errors for your contracts.